Okay guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Now today we are going to be going through the new update which did go live for Ark Survival Evolved yesterday. We're also going to be going through all of the new Survival of the Fittest updates if that's something you're playing later in the video. There's been quite a few changes with that so I hope you guys do enjoy. Also, another thing to mention is it is uh, obviously Community Crunch Day, so we're all hoping for maybe a new Arc 2 Dino reveal. Watch out for that later today. It could be that, or it could like, or maybe news on the roadmap. Probably not. Um, I reckon it's going to be later in March for the roadmap, um, or it could just be a completely quiet Community Crunch. But let's hope there will be some big stuff. So if there is, you'll see a video on it. Now, if you guys do enjoy this video and you get all the news you need to know, smash that like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel. As always, it supports me so, so much. And let's get in with today's video. So we're going to start off with the uh, patch notes for the official game. So not Survival of the Fittest, we'll do that afterwards. And it was a major version for servers and clients. And it was She Who Waits Explorer Note. has They've added voiceovers for that Explorer Note now. Fix poop not going into players' hotbars when handcuffed, which is a very strange <laughs> thing to read for an update. Um, fix for the exosuit or other characters getting stuck when transitioning between RTS mode. So if you've had that problem, that has been sorted. Fixes for characters getting stuck when transitioning between different controlled characters using the Noglin. Increase tribe message replication length limit from 200 to 300 and spectators in admin mode can now see all local chat. So that was, it doesn't sound like a major version, but usually these types of updates are the ones that you still have like a decent sized thing to, uh, in, uh, to download. Obviously, the other stuff that's been going on is just cr crashes and exploits, which is in pretty much every single update. So that was for the PC. And then if we go over to the forums, the most recent ones for the console. So for Xbox, um, pretty much they fixed issues with painting, which had been a problem. Um, and they've been doing client performances for survival of the fittest. And I I think for PlayStation, uh, fixed a, a fixed stall while mounting Dino, and uh, I think that's the only update now since they had since the launch of Survival of the Fittest. So that is everything you guys need to know about the most recent update that came live for Ark Survival Evolved. Um, we're at this stage now where it's like all about to get crazily exciting. Like it's all about to get like big with this roadmap and we're in the quiet early stages but March is the month that this roadmap is coming out now I know there's still lots of people that come to the channel and they when they hear roadmap and they and in like 20 times in the video and they think well, Dom what are you going on about but basically we're going to be finding out what's happening at what time of the year this year with everything across the whole arc franchise so that includes um, arc 2 animated series Arc 1, you know, Unreal Engine 5. People don't know whether it's going to include Survival of the Fittest, but you think it will because they've said the entire Arc franchise. So it's not just one little bit, it's everything involved with the whole franchise, which I think is amazing. Some people are saying, is there a chance it's going to come this Friday because it's March? I doubt it because I actually saw Cedric, the lead community manager, um, people said on the 1st of March, like spamming him saying, where's Roadmap? Where's Roadmap? And he was like, guys, there's still 30 more days. <laughs> so yeah, I, I doubt it'll be this early. But if it is, I will be so excited to make a video on it. So moving across to the survival of the fittest patch notes, um, as you can see, um, uh, balance uh, into uh, what? Why is it? All right, so balanced creatures, that's a really strange way to do it. Anyway, global, uh, global change, so tier three health of creatures reduced from 325% to 300. The Bronto uh, speed increased by 25%. Kill reward increased to 86 tokens and taming cost reduced to 68 tokens. The Broodmother boss, um, health increased by 10% and damage increased by 10%. The Kark takes 25% more damage from explosives. The Deodon, health reduced by minus, well, by 10%. Um, the Giga, stamina recovery time decreased from 20 seconds to 15, so that's at minus 25%. Um, the Stags now consume stamina on sprint. Um, okay, interesting. That's quite a big, uh, big change there. Um, 
so the mega uh, big buff duration from 60 seconds to 90 seconds, which is a plus 50%. The Parasaur, uh, the Parasaur uh, cost to tame reduced from 79 to 60. I think that's fair. Um, Procoptodon um, stamina cost uh, to, uh, to jump increased by 200%. It will actually regen in the air before. Um, and stamina recovery rate decreased. Oh, that's a huge, huge, 50% huge nerf for the uh, for the Procoptodon there. Um, and then the Therizino health increased by 10%. Um, uh, trike kill uh, token rewards increased from 32 to 40. Oh, finally, that, like, if you ever, if you play Survival of the Fittest, Trikes are not easy in early stages to kill. And you, don't, you used to not get much, so 40 is pretty nice. Uh, Volonosaur speed increased by 10%. Uh, the UT um, feared debuff melee damage increase from th uh, minus 30% to 15%. Feared debuff damage received decreased from 50% to 15%. Um, courage buff damage resistance decreased from minus 20% to minus 15. Courage buff of melee damage reduced from plus 30% to plus 15%. Uh, kill reward and taming cost increased um, to be the equivalent of 550 drag weight. Okay, interesting. Uh, and then the bug fixes that has been fixed in survival of the fittest is UT drag weight reverted from 500 to 550. Oh yeah. Right. Okay. That, that was what we see there. Um, to once again, allow UTs to be net gunned. Um, UT can no longer fear Rexes. Um, pinging magma saw no longer shows as lava lizard pinging. Um, well, giant crab is all I've called it. No longer shows as cave crab, um, nighttime appearing on some servers due to config issues should be resolved. Increased giga and kark damage from config issues should be solved and word filters missing on some servers from conf uh, config issue should be resolved so guys that across the whole of the arc franchise again is everything you need to know fully up to date and i hope you guys have been enjoying survival of the fittest Let's hope for a very exciting community crunch today. I am not expecting one personally. I know wildcards surprise us sometimes. Um, and as I said, if you do see, if, if there is one tonight, you will see it on the channel. And I hope it is something big. Thank you for watching, guys. Drop a like, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video very soon. My dad tells stories of a terrible war that happened across the sky. Heroes fought and died to give us a chance to start over. All that I know from their Earth are the creatures they sent along with us. And here on Arat, every day is a fight to survive. But if anyone can tame this new world, we can.